I'm Mrs. Freelick. Today we're going to learn the last melodic note in a scale. But first, let's quickly review all the other ones you've learned in previous solfege lessons. Let's review by first taking a look at all the hand signs you've learned so far. As you can see, all the hand signs stair step up the scale. A musical scale is a series of notes in a specific consecutive order. And now for your new note, it's T. T looks like you're pointing upwards because T wants to go to the next note up, which is high do. Now let's take a look at all the hand signs to see where T and high do stack up. Do you notice that do is the lowest and high do is the highest? After high do, the stair steps will repeat all over again. Let's take a look at where they all live on the musical road. Do you notice that I added a third line on top? That's where T lives, and high do lives in the space just above T. The ones that live on the lines are do, me, so, and T. And the ones that live on the spaces are re, fa, la, and high do. Do you remember that if you stack do, me, and so together, you get something musicians call a triad? That's because there's three steps between each note and there are three notes in all. These three notes are the most important ones in a song. As you recall, all the other notes we have learned want to go to one of these three. So now we can stack any three notes that are three steps apart. Do you notice that the three notes are either all on lines or all on spaces? This is a unique pattern that is easy to spot. Now let's try echoing some patterns using different combinations of all these notes that we've learned so far. Echo these triads after me. Do, mi, so. Re, fa, la. Mi, so, ti. Now, whenever Do is C, then the musical scale or key is called C major. Now, let's review what we've learned today. What is a musical scale? A, a fin on a fish. B, a series of notes in a specific consecutive order. Or C, the heartbeat of a song. The answer is B. A musical scale is a series of notes in a specific consecutive order. Which hand sign is missing? It's T. Remember, T is pointing upwards because T wants to go to high do. What hand sign is missing now? It's Fa. As you recall, Fa is thumbs pointing downwards because Fa wants to go to me. Now look at these notes on the musical road. They are all scrambled, so see if you can name all the notes. If you find the lowest note and then go up the stairs, it'll make it easier. The notes you see are me, so, do, re, fa, ti, hi do, and la. Now let's see if you can recognize these notes by how they sound. Listen to the notes and tell me what you hear. I'll give you a hint. It starts with fa. The piano played fa, mi, re, do. What are these notes? Listen, I'll give you a hint. It starts with so. The piano played so la ti do. One more. Listen closely. It starts on do. The piano played do mi so do. Great job. 
You were able to learn a lot about the notes in a musical scale. You were able to recognize them by sound, by hand signs, and by where they live on the musical road. For more instructional videos, check out the links in the description box below. Have a great day.